Today, I want to find out if I can take a 3M Aura mask and cut the headbands into ear loops and see if it'll perform better than this LG Air Washer. Because the 3M Aura fits great on me, but I think it's more than just the headbands that make this particular mask great. The headbands are really important in getting the best possible fit, but for situations where you need ear loops, could you get okay fit with a 3M Aura with ear loops? Now, this is not a hack you should necessarily try yourself unless you have fit testing to confirm whether or not it works for you. I'm sure 3M will be aghast at uh, when I do this. It's no longer gonna be an N95 or a certified NIOSH mask once I hack it. So today we'll start off by testing this mask and then we'll cut the headbands into ear loops. Okay, so this is the 3M Aura with the headbands. That's gonna be our first control. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and give that a test. Wow. That's a really good fit. Okay, so um, I am using an N100 um, test on these N95s. Normally with a, uh, an N95 test that uses fat particles that can't go through the mask, the, the fit test maxes out at 200. I don't know how they count the N100 tests when you fit test an N95 and it comes out to 1,000. Um, it's, a, it's a really well-performing mask. So it's going to come down some, I think, when I cut this into headbands, and I'm just going to do the field expedient version. I'm going to take these two headbands and uh, find the middles and uh, just cut them in half. The um, doo -doo -doo. Ooh, kind of hurts doing this to a perfectly good mask, but let's go ahead and do it. And there we go. It is no longer a headband mask. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a cheap overhand knot. Okay, so through the magic of editing, I've tied an overhand knot in these, uh, maybe a little too tight. Uh, this one came out a little short, but this is my test of a field expedient version. So it's gonna have to do. And we'll see how well it tests. And then we'll test a, a better made version of the same thing. Okay, so this is the field expedient version with the uh, ear loops uh, tied out of the headbands, and uh, we'll see how well it fit tests. Well, pretty much the same score, um, over a thousand. <laughs> so uh, on my face, with this particular mask, with some pretty tight ear loops that are kind of uncomfortable because I tied them a little too tight, I'm still getting great fit. Um, now that was not a full OSHA fit test. I wasn't talking or bending or moving my head. So this is just the best case scenario and your face is different and your use will be different. So if you do wanna try this, you really should fit test it. Um, but I've never gotten a score like that with a KF94. So I think that even if this didn't fit well, it would still perform better than a KF94. And to prove it, I'm now gonna test with an LG Air Washer KF94 and see how well it tests with ear loops. Okay, I have pulled those ear loops really tight to give this the best chance and conform the nose wire as best I can. I'm going to even put it in its best place. And uh, we're going to give this LG Air Washer a test and see how it compares to the score of the 3M Aura with ear loops. Here we go. Five point five. Okay, so um in a, an N95, I would want at least um, 20 times greater uh, inside, 20 times cleaner inside, but 5.5 um, is not a great score. Um, I can feel it leaking at the nose bridge. The nose wire is just not stiff enough in this uh, twin wire uh, equipped KF94. So I'm gonna say that um, I think the fit factor of over 200 with this um, ear loop mask here versus 5.5, um, the 3M Aura wins by a landslide, even with improvised ear loops. Um, I gotta say that I'm not sure what to make out of that, except that um, KF94s could really be improved a lot, um, even if uh, they still kept their ear loops. So there's a lot of room for improvement in spite of the fact they've got great filtration. Um, before we go, I do want to try one last thing, which is I have uh, pre-prepared a uh, 3M Aura, but this time I made um, adjustable ear loops. I uh, used a little bit of electrical insulation to make cord locks, 
and stapled the ear loops on. And uh, I think this will probably test similar to the other one, but it's a different mask. So it might test slightly differently just because it's a different uh, copy of the mask. So let's give that a try. See if uh, a home-brewed, non-improvised uh, 3M Aura with ear loops is a viable idea. Okay, so uh, I set these to a more comfortable level. Um, got the foam here. It doesn't feel quite as well sealed as, as the um, headbands, but let's give this a try. Six seventeen, um, still an outstanding number. That's more in line. Um, I usually get above three hundred with auras, so I'm still getting headband-like um, results with the ear loops. Um, you know, it's it's not approved, it's not certified, so I can't generally say you should go cut the ear headbands off of your um, uh, 3M auras because that will take away the certification. But if you've got fit testing access, um, I think there's a good chance that um, you might get better results by putting ear loops on your 3M auras than wearing your KF94s. Your mileage will vary because fit is very individual and this is not an improved hack. Um, but it does at least suggest to me that with um, if NIOSH changes to allow ear loops, uh, which they may allow in the future when they uh, require human testing, according to 3M, um, they might be able to create a 3M aura with great fit that has ear loops. I'm hoping that that will be a possibility.